it. So Penny is holding something here that I want to share with you guys. But you can kind of see the words on the back there, comic collage. Now Penny doesn't want to give me that one. But I make collages out of comic books. And I'm going to start with showing you an example. And I'll cut to some more examples. But this is a great example of one. This is one of my favorite ones that you can just see. It really pops really well. So the centerpiece on this one is actually a calendar with the background from an actual comic book. Now, I'm going to steal this one from Penny for a second. You can see here, same thing, but this, the background is, again, the comic book, but the cover is that central image you see right there. Here, can you hold it? So what I do is I take old comic books and I recycle them. I use all the materials are found. These both happen to be canvas, but I'll cut to some stuff so you can see all kinds of different surfaces that I use. And I'll show you a little bit about how I make these guys. So we'll take a look first at how they're made. So here's the actual process. I begin by cutting everything out with an X-Acto knife. You don't see it here, I'm not going into that much detail, but you can see the detail around the characters. That was all cut out with an X-Acto knife. I'll normally do the titles. The title here was a little bit different. It was kind of more of a, almost like a billboard style title. And so I left it there. And here you go in a uh, elapsed time of maybe an hour, I'm not quite sure, a little bit less around there though, of cutting it out and then just laying it all out and then gluing them down one by one with just Mod Podge. I find that works best. And actually there, I'm going backwards here, you can see some of the cuts there. And then here is how I put on the top layer. So I just kind of lay it out once the other layer dries. There's some time in between there. And then you just put, again, a nice healthy coating of Mod Podge down, and then you'll put that cover on top of it. And then once you do that, you'll see here in a second, kind of get it all laid out, get it where you want it to go, and then just seal it back in with the Mod Podge. And you're not going to see here a final step, which is to varnish it, because the Mod Podge itself is very rough. There is a method where you can put enough layers that you can actually sand it down to smooth it out. I personally don't do that just because of the time it would take. I put enough on there to cover it and seal it and protect it and have it nice and even, but then I put a varnish over that to seal it and make it sort of almost uh, smooth and almost shiny, depending on the varnish you use, but it really evens it out at the end. So that is how a comic collage is made. Now, the origins, basically, I used to cut up Wizard Comics, uh, Wizard the Guide to Comics, things like that, and glue them into my notebooks. My dad worked for Carnegie Mellon University, he was a carpenter there, and he would get me the blue books. That so I learned that those blue books were actually for exams. I didn't know that at the time, but I would just fill them with p images from Wizard and, and beat up old comics. At the time, I really didn't want to destroy comics, but now I happily do. So they can become art that decorates your wall, uh, honestly. Like you can see the, all the details in that lettering is all hand cut. And then I added a little touch on the back here. And um, everyone is handmade from my past and my passion. It's because of me as a kid loving comic books and loving movies and things. And that's what these are all a tribute to. I cut up comic books mainly, but I cut up comics about movies and things like that. So because of that passion, I make these and uh, it's just a hobby. I, I did it when I had my company to sort of help fill out our, our art gallery space because we needed to fill the walls. And that's when I became a sort of artist with this. But uh, it just really, just because I love it. I love comics, I love stories, I love the stories, and I love the history. And each of these tells a story for me personally, and it tells a story, yeah, she's got some toys. <laughs> it tells a story for me personally, and it tells a story about that specific comic book. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, these collages reflect just a pure passion for comic books and storytelling, and why I share it with my daughter, why I have her on my lap when I do these videos, is because I love this stuff. So check out my collages. It's Comic Collage on Etsy. So shop.comiccollage.etsy. I'll put it on the screen because I'm mixing it up. But Comic Collage. So look for that on Etsy with one C. C-O-M-I-C-A-L. I'm spelling it wrong. <laughs> Comic Collage. C-O-M-I-C-O-L-L-A-G-E. They look great on your wall. As I said, by this time you'll see some other examples. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Penny, can you say goodbye to everybody? And before we go, Penny wants to show you her outfit. Can you show them how cool your outfit is? Show them your Wonder Woman dress. Look at Wonder Woman here. Look at this Wonder Woman dress. Say bye, everybody. Thank you, guys. Penny, can you say bye? Blow a kiss. Can you blow a kiss? There it is. Bye, guys. Yeah. You teaching me how to do it? Uh, I'm learning things from Penny. Bye.